good morning friends this video we are going to discuss about two message headers accept and content type these headers are used by rest client to get some response or send some request to the rest service right so here this accept header is basically rest client can mention some media type saying that accept header is accept value is application slash json or application slash xml so that client is sending some information to service saying that i am expecting a response in this media type so that is the purpose of giving accept header similarly there is a content type especially this content type is used for http methods like post put where the client is going to send some data in the body right when the client is sending some data in the body client can mention there is a header content type saying that the body of the message is of so and so media type so the message is of xml type or json type right this is known as content negotiation this is one pattern we use in restful web services called content negotiation so client is going to request the service saying that i am expecting response in so and so media type that is accept header similarly client says the service i am sending some request with the so and so media type that is content type header now let us see one demo this is spring boot application which uses restful web services right so here in the palm.xml so there are two dependencies you can see for spring boot application there is a spring boot starter web this is the dependency which is used to develop restful web services right similarly there is one more dependency i mentioned that is jackson data format xml so normally this spring boot starter web if you look at dependency hierarchy this spring boot starter web comes with spring boot starter json that means out of the box when you are developing restful web services it includes the media type json suppose if you want xml then we need to explicitly mention this particular dependencies right so this is one dependence which we have to mention for the xml kind of media type right then when it comes to application here so there is one simple controller there is a customer controller in the customer controller we are using two different methods you can see there is a get mapping get mapping slash customers so this is going to return all the customers similarly there is a get mapping slash customers slash name right so this is returning all the customers this is returning the customer with particular name right so both are get mapping similarly there is a post mapping here to insert a new customer right so these are the annotations which are provided by spring framework right now we are going to use these annotations to implement content negotiation right so let me start this application so i'll say spring boot application and say run as spring boot application right so the application is started port number you see here port number 8080 right let me go to postman now in the postman so i'll type local host 8080 slash customers right using get right so there is a headers you can see here in the headers there is one accept header we can mention so accept header application slash json you see application slash json even if this header is not given the default value is application slash json so when i say send here so see the response the response is coming with json format right so there are four customers you can see there is a rushi mahashi surya the three customers you can see here output right in the json format if i change this in sub json if i mention here so xml so xml and when i say send here automatically the response comes in xml format so when we are using get request especially get or even when you are retrieving some data even sometimes post request also return some response right so whenever we are getting the response the client is getting the response client can exclusively add one header called accept header by mentioning the media type xml or json if it is not given by default it comes as a json but to get xml very important thing is in the project palm.xml this xml dependency is required so that is one thing similarly when you look at the surveys right the survey should be capable of giving the response in xml format also right so one is client requesting xml or json media type fine at the same time the service has to support those media types right so if you look at this method there is a get all customers get mapping here if i say comma control space bar 
you can see there are two more properties like consumes and there is similarly there is a produce we can mention consumes produce so what is the meaning of this produces means produces means this particular get mapping can give the response with so and so media type consumes is nothing but this particular method can accept the request in so and so media types if it is not defined by default the producers produces json and xml similarly consume consumes will consume both json and xml suppose we want to limit the producers or consumes to particular media type right by default it supports we discuss it supports say here, here the producers consumes supports both json and xml media type suppose we want to limit it to some json then we can select for example producers equal to let me type media type right so media type org spring framework http dot the value we can give it as for example json value can be given here for example if i give json value then this particular get mapping can only give the response in json type right if this is not given default it is json and xml similarly we can give for consumes also right if i say control space bar for consumes also we can mention it right so if this is not defined the default is these services by default can produce and consumes both xml and json media types right so similarly so let me revert back actually let me go to the postman here in the postman so i'll take one item here suppose i'll take this value okay so let me have one more post here post so there is a local host 8080 slash customers body raw then here we can give this body suppose it's of rushi i'll just mention something some name ramana okay location hyderabad something then i can give here select see xml here so this is the post request right post request let me select xml here when we select the xml automatically in the header there is one header you can observe content type application slash xml so that here we are mentioning because it's a post request here the client is mentioning the body is contains xml body so the content type says xml suppose if the body contains json then we can give content type as json so that the service understands that okay whatever data is coming from the client it is of so and so media type right so when i say send here see the response automatically it got insert of this data got inserted if you want to see this once again i can go back here for get request and i say send so in the data you can see there is a name ramana hyderabad you can see here so this is how we can implement we can use the headers accept as well as content type right